Hello Year 3, for Science Today we're going to introduce the Bouncy Egg Experiment. First of all, we need to write the title. The title is The Bouncy Egg. We could use other titles as well, but for this one it seems the most fun. The purpose is, why are we doing the experiment? So, the reason for our experiment is to observe if certain drinks have a negative effect on the calcium in our body. So we are trying to find out if the drinks that we ingest are going to affect our teeth and bones. The hypothesis is, what can we guess from doing this? So our hypothesis is that it is not safe for our teeth and bones if we drink a lot of soda, juice or coffee. So this is our guess. We don't know this yet. This is why we're going to test it. Next, we have some materials we need to collect to start the experiment. We need a waterproof marker, a ruler, a measuring cup, four glass or plastic containers of the same size, four raw eggs of similar size, half, half a cup of Pepsi or Coca-Cola, half a cup of orange juice, half a cup of black coffee with no sugar. Here's the method. Measure the mass of each egg. That means we are measuring length by width. And note on the side of containers. Now, I didn't have a marker, so what I did was I did it on a piece of paper to keep the information of each egg, length by width, on a piece of paper instead. Number two, place one egg in each container. Three, measure liquids and pour it into containers to completely submerge the egg. Now, this depends on the container. We've only said half a cup, but if your container is more wide, it's wider, you may end up needing more liquid. So what I did, I didn't have a measuring container, uh, a measuring cup, so I poured the liquid into the containers first to make sure that the quantity of all liquids is kept the same. Number four, allow eggs to sit in the liquid at room temperature for 24 hours. Five, remove eggs and measure the mass, note on paper. Six, note down findings on color, texture, hardness, and any other observations. Here we have the observation of eggs before conducting the experiment. So my egg is white, the texture, texture is hard and smooth, but there's a little bumpy texture on it. The shell is harder than my fingernail, so if I try to scratch it, I'm not able to scratch the eggshell. And the mass, what we can do, we can do the measurement, is 40 millimeters by 57 millimeters. Other observation, we're looking, the shell is complete. There's no gaps in the shell. And I try and squeeze it, and I'm not able to squeeze it with my fingers. This is the equipment that you need. You do not need the cat, but she's there as a, our uh, lab assistant, shall we say. So here we have the four eggs of similar size. We have the water, the juice, the Pepsi, and we have some coffee. I've already poured the coffee because I had to make the coffee earlier on. And we have our four glasses. We have a piece of paper, a roller, and a marker or a pen as well. What we're going to do is we're going to take one of the eggs for each one of the items. So what we need to do is we need to actually measure the mass of the eggs, the, the dimensions of the eggs. Now what I've done is I've taken each of the four liquids and I've poured them into the containers. Now, if we look at it sideways, if you don't have a measuring cup, you should see that all the liquids are the same quantity. We've used the same amount of liquid. After that, we need to prepare our page. So we have coffee, juice, Pepsi, water. Now we're going to do two different measurements. We're going to do a before measurement and 24 hours later measurement about the eggs. So what we do here is we look straight down the side of the pencil and we make a mark for the width of the egg. And then we look straight down the pencil and make a mark for the height of the egg. 
So now you can see these are our egg measurements. So we're going to draw the egg measurements in. So I'm turning it into a box just so it's a little bit easier. This is a little bit hard to do just with one hand, but you will find it a little bit easier. So this is my coffee egg. So I'm now going to take the coffee egg and put it in the coffee. Can you see that the egg is fully submerged? It needs to be completely covered with a liquid, which means I've used enough liquid. If your eggs are not being submerged, you need to add more liquid in. So here we can see my egg. Let's measure my egg. Now my egg is currently four, 4.5 centimeters across, so I'm going to write 45 millimeters, and how tall is my egg? My egg is 55 millimeters. So this is my egg before the experiment, before it's gone in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the egg for the rest of the the other three liquids okay here I've done my other measurements for the other three eggs so the juice egg you can see is 42 by 58 so it's a little bit thinner than the first one but longer the third egg is 40 by 57 and the fourth egg is 40 by 57 as well so these two actually go almost exactly the same size egg so now I'm putting them in the liquid. And there's the water one. Now I'm going to keep these at room temperature for 24 hours and then I'm going to measure and have a look at the shell as well. So I want to put them somewhere safe. So I'm going to put them over on the side where people can't knock them. Watch out for little brothers and sisters drinking them. You may want to maybe cover them with the paper or something as well so that people don't come and drink them by mistake. And that's our experiment for now. After 24 hours of having the eggs in the liquid, I would like you to now take each egg out, take a photo of the egg or draw an egg in each box. You can see observation of eggs after being submerged in water, Pepsi or Coke, coffee and orange juice. For each of these boxes, I want you to write your observations of the color, texture, firmness of the shell, and the size of the egg, uh, the height by the width, the length by the width. Also note any other observations. For example, is it now squishy and squeezy? It may have become flexible. Is there, especially look at things like color and texture. How much of the shell is missing? How much of the shell is still there? Any kind of observation you can think of, anything you find interesting. For our conclusion, after the experiment, we're going to write down some information. Number one, acids and liquid work to soften or weaken hard shells or hard surfaces like eggshells. The stronger the acid, the softer the eggshell becomes. So, based on your observations, put the liquids in order from the most acidic to least acidic. So you're going to have a look at the eggshells, observe them against each other, and put them in an order. We have the coffee, we have Pepsi, water and juice. Which one do you think is the most acidic because it has the most degeneration of the eggshell? Egg and which one do you think is the least acidic? The least would be the egg that is closest to the original form. Question number two. The enamel of your tooth is similar to the egg's shell. What do you think happens to your teeth when you drink liquids that are acidic? Why do you think this happens? Please write your answers on the lines. And three, based on what happened to the eggshells in your experiment, which drinks do you think are best for your teeth? And why do you think this? Please submit your pages to the science email address. Thank you guys.